being on the stage uh, like a rock star in the IT world <laughs> to trust my gut feelings to trust my uh, inner voice to trust my thinking <laughs> Hello, today's episode will be different and it stresses me out a little, but let's see what comes out of it. Monica, let's start the Pro Toyota Protomobile. Start! <laughs> Vroom! <laughs> I told you before, like two years ago, that in my opinion, English is the most important language for a software developer. And today I am starting to work actively on mine, even though I don't write code anymore for money. I also told you that I want to go global with my knowledge, with my experience, with my content about Git, the version control system. And in the context of two previous episodes, it seems really important that I really, I really want to. I believe that I want to. I don't have to, I don't need to, I truly want to do it. And now I am getting ready. Luckily, it seems I will be perfectly on time for my first lesson. Hmm. Half past eight, sharp. Let's go. Mm. London Academy. Hmm. Okay, that was nice. Now it's time for a breakfast and then I will still have one hour to prepare for a podcast that I will be recording later today about genetic algorithms. Oh yeah. Hey ho, let's go. Okay, now time to get back to the office. Well, not back, to get to the office <laughs> and to do some podcasting and interview. And then we will get back to our topic today. Let's go. Well, well, look at that. It's alive. No shit. That's a real surprise. Okay, everything is ready. Let's do a podcast on genetic algorithms while standing. Hmm. Dzięki i słyszymy się za dwa tygodnie. Na razie. Work done. As you already know, I stopped appearing on Polish stages uh, several months ago because it seemed like the same formula repeated over and over again. It started to be boring, to say the least. But I really enjoy being on the stage uh, like a rock star in the IT world. <laughs> So I decided that I need some challenge and I need some change. So I will, I think I will try to appear on stages in different countries speaking English. I have already done so uh, three or four times, but here is the interesting part. Everybody says that I am ready, but I don't think so. And everybody says that I don't need additional English lessons, including my friends, including my wife, including uh, the owner of the English school, including two teachers, one from the US, one from England. Everybody says that my English is good enough, but I don't think so. So I need several months to become more fluent, several months with two hours a week of pure conversa conversations with native speakers. But why do I need better English? Why do I need uh, English lessons? If I can speak English, like you can say from this episode and from my previous appearances on English stages, well, I treat this adventure, uh, if it happens, I treat this adventure like I am a representative of Polish deaf community. If I appear on stages in Oslo, in Chicago, in Sydney, I don't know, in Budapest, in Vilnius, I will be one of the Polish guys and I don't want my English to be good enough. I want my English to be as good as possible in today's situation. And I'm not there yet. And especially after the experience that I described in two previous episodes, now I will try even more to trust my gut 
feelings, to trust my uh, inner voice, to trust my thinking about my own possibilities and capabilities. Now it's time to finish this little experiment. Thank you for watching it today and I invite you to watch my journey. We will see where it will lead me, where it will lead us. Let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> I now have about two hours of additional work ahead of me and during this time I will decide who will speak at the Four Developers Conference in Warsaw in April. Hmm. So, so thanks for today and thanks for all the comments or the messages that I keep receiving after yesterday's and after Friday's episode. See you next time. Bye bye.